Hello and welcome back. My name is Randy Scamhorn and this is the Chairman's Brief. Thank you for joining me for another episode as we talk about how Cobb Schools and the Cobb Board works for you. You all are doing a great job sending in questions, which I will spend some time answering today, and we'll also talk a little bit about EDSPLOS 6. I will explain what EDSPLOS 6 means in a moment. As a reminder, before we get started, the superintendent and his staff run the 23rd largest district in the country, and the Cobb School Board is seven individual members who represent our county. As board chair, I am the spokesperson for the board, and despite what three of our board members tell you, Cobb schools rank among the very best schools in the entire country. As a board, we are proud of every Cobb student and the service our teachers provide to our community, which is one of the best places in the country to live, work, and raise a family. We continue to have community members and even board members who are spending a lot of time trying to harm the district. I mentioned during our last time together, and it bears repeating, great schools don't become great schools by accident. As a board, we will not allow a select few to tear down what you, our community, has built. You choose to do business here in Cobb. You choose to live here, and you choose to raise your families here. During a very difficult time for our entire county and country, as a board, we will not allow political agendas imported from national headlines to shape how our schools teach and how our students learn. In Cobb, you want students to be allowed back in school buildings. You want teachers teaching the Georgia standards, not political talking points. You want schools to be centers of learning, not centers of political controversy and activism. You want schools to be schools. As I mentioned earlier, despite those who are act actively working against the interest of businesses, homeowners, taxpayers, families, and students, Cobb is one of the best places to teach, lead, and live. By ensuring our schools remain schools, you have my promise as your board chair. Cobb will continue to be a great place to live. And now, let's get to your questions. This week, we received a few questions about masks and whether they will be required next school year. As has been the case with all public health questions, Superintendent Ragsdale has been clear. We will follow public health guidance for Cobb County, and we all hope the public health conditions for Cobb allow a sense of normalcy to return but it is simply too early to answer this question other than by saying we will follow Cobb and Douglas Public Health guidance. Feel free to reach out to Cobb and Douglas Public Health directly with questions about public health guidance. We also received questions about next school year and whether face-to-face -face classrooms would be offered on Wednesdays. As a team of district staff work on details for the next school year, other than the superintendent's announcement that we will be offering remote and face-to-face -face classroom options for the 2021-2022 school year, no other decisions have been made at this time. Once decisions about next school year have been made, they will be available on all district communication channels including your inbox, all social media platforms, the district's reopening website, and your school's website. As communicated by the district throughout the school year, the superintendent and staff believe in the importance of face-to-face -face classrooms for all students who choose them. Again, details about next year will be made available as soon as public health guidance is provided for the 2021 and 2022 school year in Cobb County. 
We do continue to receive an occasional question about the amount of PPE provided by the district. As can be found in a district story about our COVID-19 response over the last year, the district has provided masks, desk shields, foggers, and hand sanitizer stations for every building. In fact, if you add it all up, well over 800,000 individual items which protect our students and staff have been provided. The district's response to COVID-19 has been to provide supports for students, staff, and our community. You can read more about the district's response to COVID-19 over the last year on the front page of our district website by clicking the News tab. Great questions this week. Keep them coming and we will get to as many as we can each week. Every five years, you are presented with one of the most important steps you can take to support education and property values in Cobb County. Ed's Plus is a one penny sales tax on anything bought in Cobb County and stands for a special purpose local option sales tax for the sole purpose of education. It is a one cent tax that must be approved by voters at the ballot box once every five years. Education SPLOS or Ed SPLOS funds can be used only for school related capital improvements. Ed SPLOS 5 was approved by Cobb voters in 2017 and expires at the end of 2023. Ed SPLOS 6, if approved by Cobb voters, would fund needs for Cobb schools from 2024 through 2028. Since the first Ed SPLOS in Cobb was approved in 1998, we have seen our schools become some of the very best in the entire country. This one penny consumption tax has allowed each corner of our community to benefit with new schools, new classrooms, fewer portable classrooms, thousands of maintenance improvements, safety improvements, lighting, fencing, video surveillance cameras, access control systems for elementary and middle schools, classroom technology, and no long-term debt. We will talk more about this in a future episode with Chief Financial Officer Brad Johnson, but no long-term debt is a rare thing for school districts in 2021 throughout the country. Using Ed Sploss pennies, more than 6,000 projects have been completed are, are in progress. As promised to you, the voter, they have all been completed in a timely fashion with a net savings of millions of dollars. Superintendent Ragsdale recently announced Ed's Plus 6 will be brought to Cobb voters in November of 2021. Details of school needs are being identified and will be communicated to you well before voting day. The exact needs, and that word is important, school needs, not wants, are being identified by each school, and we do know approving this one penny sales tax will benefit every corner of Cobb through 2028. We also know a one penny sales tax keeps Cobb property taxes low and allows anyone who visits, travels through, or even works in Cobb County to support our schools. You, the Cobb citizen, benefit directly from Ed Sploss through dollars spent by anyone who travels through Cobb County and simply buys a meal or fills, fills their gas tank. You can expect more details from the district as we enter the summer and fall. I hope this has been helpful to you. Ed Splosk has been an important part of our student success for more than 20 years. As the referendum on Ed Splosk 6 approaches, I hope you'll take the time to look at what has been accomplished with your penny tax and what other funding methods could have cost our taxpayers and community. Thank you for watching and supporting the Cobb County School District. Our community and staff are what continue to make Cobb the best place to teach, lead, and learn. Thanks again. 
Have a great week and we'll see you next week.